everyone, it's Tim from Your Sex Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when your PlayStation 5 game simply won't download or fail. So let's go ahead and jump the video right now. Now, if you have a game that is failing to download, press the PlayStation button. And the first thing you want to check is your upload slash downloads right here and select this. And then you can see I have two errors here for Destiny 2 and Star Wars The Fallen Order. What I want to do is view the error and see what it is. So this one says can't install, you don't have enough storage space. So cancel this and then go ahead and delete it from the downloads. So let's go to delete and then do the same thing for Destiny 2 here. Now we want to make sure we have enough storage space. So let's go up to settings and select this, then go on down to storage and then view your console storage. So you can see I do not have enough storage space. So let's go over to games and apps, select a game, press X on it, and then go to select items to delete and delete the games from your hard drive to create more room for other games. So let's go to delete now. Now let's back out of this and go to the main settings menu and then go up to users and accounts. If our storage space wasn't the issue, let's try restoring the licenses on our PlayStation 5 by going to other, then going to the right and go to restore licenses. Restore licenses for downloaded content you can't use. So let's select this now. If you become unable to use content you download from the PlayStation Store, there might be a problem with the licenses for the content. Try restoring the licenses. So this shouldn't take very long, maybe like three or four minutes. Go ahead and complete this process. And if you have a lock symbol next to your game, this should fix that issue. Also go up to console sharing and offline play and make sure this is enabled. If it's already enabled, try disabling this and then re-enabling it. Just see if that works for you. Also, another thing that you could try is signing out of your PlayStation 5 and then signing back in right here. But you will need your email address and password to sign back in. Maybe there's a problem with just your account and it's not properly synced with PlayStation Network. Now, let's go back to the main settings menu once again and scroll on down to System. And just make sure you have the latest software for PlayStation 5. So let's go to system software updates and settings and just make sure the software is up to date. So it looks like I'm good to go. Now let's try rebuilding the database on our PlayStation. I press the PlayStation button and then going over to power and completely 100% turning off our PlayStation 5. So close all games and apps and turn off your PS5. Now with your PlayStation 5 completely turned off, there's no light on the light bar here. Locate the power button and hold this down. You will hear one beep initially. And about five to 10 seconds later, you will hear another beep. When you hear the second beep, you can go ahead and let go. And your PlayStation 5 will launch in the safe mode menu. You will need a USB cable connected to your controller to be able to operate the safe mode menu. Otherwise, you won't be able to use the controller. So let's connect this. And then we will want to press the PlayStation button. Then use the D-pad to scroll on down to the different menus. Now let's go down to option number five, clear cache and rebuild database and select this. Then go down to rebuild database right here and select this. It says the database will be rebuilt. It might take a few hours to rebuild the database, but in my experience it only takes about five to 10 minutes. And if you are having any kind of like copying issues or anything with your solid state drive, this should go ahead and fix that for you. So if this video did indeed help you out, go and leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.